To use yesterday. Mm. Do you want me to do anything for you? Mm. What? Help me up. No, Mama. Mama, no. Mm. Do you know you're not strong? You can't stand. My dear, life is a complex one that no human being can unravel. Mm. The truth is how bleak. Of breath, it looks at the beginning, does not determine how sadly or joyfully it will end. Mm. The great and the legendary are not known by how great they were at birth, mm. but by the significant of the impact they made before they died. Mm. In life, always remember that where there is joy, there is also some pain. Where there is success, there is also Failure. Where there is rejection, there is also some acceptance. <coughs> Where there is love, there is also hate. It is only those that realize this and persevere. That succeed in life. No, my child. Promise me that no matter what comes your way, you will never give up. Why are you talking like this now? Why are you talking like this? Do you mm. want to leave me? I'm a rushing. Mama, don't you ever. Okay, mm. okay. I promise mm. I won't. I'll stop talking like this. Oh. Thank you, Chai. Get me some water to drink. Okay, Mama. Let me get you. Mm. Mm. I'm a Rashi. Don't you ever forget your promise. I won't forget, I promise. Let me get you water. Oh, God. God. Mm. What's that? And bless her for in Jesus' name. Sit down. 
Um, I met your principal yesterday. He told me that you've not resumed school since your grandmother's birth. Your promotional exams are coming up in two weeks' time. Are you aware? Headmaster. My parents are dead. Do you know how they died? No. But all that should be left in the past, where they rightfully belong. The past shapes the present, and both determine the future. What told us that? Remember? My father was the only child my grandmother had. I was the only child my father had. My parents died the same day of food poisoning. They died when I was less than two. That woman buried there. My grandmother. She took care of me from that age till now. She was the family I knew. She was all I had. Now, like my parents, she's gone, leaving me all alone. When my mother died, my educational ambition went with her. My whole life went with her because she was the only hope I had for a better future. Tell me, why am I going back to school? Why should I go back to school? Uh, I'm right. You were my best student. And uh, still the most brilliant student in the whole Ethan community. Your loved ones, cry for them because it is the right thing to do. But don't drop out of school, please. I am not dropping out of school, sir. Second is forcing me out. For even if I choose to go to school, who will pay my bills? Who? My wife and I. Yes, we will. As you know, we are childless. We have decided to take you like our own child. Thank you. Thank you so much. God will bless you. God will bless you. It's okay. Go in and arrange your things. <laughs> Thank you, sir. God will bless you. God will bless you, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, can I talk with you briefly? Briefly? Yes. Thank you. Sorry for the death of your grandmother. Yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. Honestly, I ought not to bother you what I'm about to say. But believe me, nature has a way of having its way on us. Nancy. You said briefly, remember? Yes, I did. But oh, please. Do you remember the theory of magnets? 
like poles repel, opposite poles attract. Why do you ask? That theory is not just describing the characteristics of natural magnets. It's describing you and I. Amarachi, every woman needs a man, said a songwriter. Amarachi, please be my girl. Please be my girl. Please. Thank you for showing me how insensitive you are. Amarachi, please don't be okay. Come back, please. You are giving up on Amarachi just after your first attempt the other day. I am not giving up on Amarachi. It's not possible. I mean, the timing was very wrong, and you know it. You to see how stupid and foolish I felt that day she just walked out on me like a fool. <sighs> Maybe I should have raised such issue with her now that she's still mourning her grandmother. Hmm? Also. Did you hear yourself? I don't know the day you became a saint in this school. If I may ask, which of our grandmother are you talking about? Her late grandmother. Oh, the one that died two months ago or another one. And they were told that she's still mourning her. Will she mourn her forever? Talk to you, my brother. But she waiting to do you. Can you don't let fuck up, bro? Huh? We have had this with the best girls in this school since we have made the senior prefect. And Amarachi's case will not be an exception. I go for her and get her. Yeah, you did my hands, so, honestly. Okay, guys, you know how we've been doing it. Whoever gets a girl, have a gun half us. And by pretending to, I've caught them doing it. And threatening to expose them. And she'll be left with no option than to allow us to have a gun half, okay? And that reminds me now, so you are still owing us for the last two jobs we did with you. Yes. And this time around, we want you to pay us with Amarachi. Failure to do so, we kick you off from our clique. And you know what that means? Guys, you know what? I promise. You see Amarachi? In this school, I will get Amarachi. That's better. She will not go free. I swear, I Amarachi. Where? You guys will see it. Guys. Here she comes. Just go after her. Don't give her a pretty space. Go. You saw it. You saw it. Also, we saw nothing. No, so we only saw a pretty girl who is too good for sex. Only to be ignored by a coward. That's what we are. Me a coward. Before Uncle. Guys, let's 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 go. Let's, 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 come back here with you. Also, we are preferred in this school. No gay has ever failed us. Maybe I'm actually be different. Tell me. If Amalachi wants it peacefully, we will give it to her. And if she wants it by force, we will still give it to her. Yes. All we need for you is just to get us Amalachi. My dear, you can move more, you don't lose your family, but what did the best memo say? I hear say this guy knelt down for her in the presence of the two and begging her. Huh? What we want is for you to get Amalachi. Can I know the fuck up? Ah! Hey! Then you the F, oh. You the F. Kai! My dear big boys, if you are in, just give me your hands. Big boys. Are you in? Hey, put your hand, I beg. See, 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 come on, get away, go, just go, 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 try. Yeah, yeah, just fine for nothing. They shake it. Hey! You, you, get out. And what are you doing here while others are in class studying and hurting? 
The class was very noisy, so I came out here to read with my friends. And is this place the school library? Sorry, let me go to my class then. Sit there. Also, flog her very well. Uh -uh. Senior Chima, flog me. Why flog me for an offense my friends and I committed? Because your friends have given us what you are denying on you. What? Yes. Look, if you agree and follow me to the bush, quietly, I mean, you and I will have fun. And it will save you some pains this afternoon. And if not? If not, then I will flog you to my field here and now. Give me that cane. Then you're going to have to flog me. You're going to have to flog me. This is my palm. Your palm? What, what is this? And who told me to give you the luxury of flogging your palms? Guys, bring this girl. I'm not going anywhere with you. Bring this way. Bring her here. Yeah, I don't want to know. What? Must be going first. No, no, no. Shut up. Move see for me. I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. Now you move. No, no, no! Let me alone! So fast! No, 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 You are the ones chosen by the elders of Iten to escort Amarachi to our border point on her way to life exile, right? Yes, ma'am. And in a few minutes' time, be on your way. Yes, ma'am. That's why I called you. You see, my late husband, Monso's father, was a philanthropist. Through his efforts, both of you and countless others, you are able to go to school or start their own businesses. If you had lived a few years more than this, both of you will not be in the village doing nothing. See, Nansu's murder has closed the lineage forever. As you can see, I am past the age of childbearing. So that, that person that committed this heinous crime deserves worse than just punishment. Yes, I think this kind of punishment, our culture stipulates for an like this. Yes, ma'am. You know, the police that were supposed to ensure that she becomes severely punished for committing that crime decided to let her go just because she told them a story that made them believe she committed the crime out of self defense. Yes, they did. They did. And the question is. Will you release her too? Will you? I let my son die in vain. Very difficult, right? Okay. Here is um, 500,000 Naira. Share it between yourselves. And don't let that girl live beyond today. Do we have a deal? Sure, ma'am. Yes. Good. I think that's all. The bush, of course. No, they said I should leave it them. They didn't say I should go into the bush. I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. I don't 
Please, you want to kill me? Come, Miss Ogu, please. We want to kill you for the cold blooded murder. You want to kill me? Please, my brothers. Please. I beg you. I know I don't have much to say. I don't even have a choice. But please, our culture guarantees a person the right to at least speak before him or her is killed. Can I at least speak? Please. Speak now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nonso died because I stabbed him. Tradition says that whoever does that shall be banished for life. But you want to go beyond the orders of the elders. Like you said, you want to avenge Nonso's death. I'm not begging for my life. For under the circumstance, the dead is by far better than me. But no matter the reason, it is an abomination, a taboo for an indigent of Item to be killed by another. Why do you want to live your life in guilt knowing that you have committed an abomination? My brothers, please, I beg you with whatever you hold dear not to do this. For even if the human beings on earth cannot see you do this evil, God can. He sees you and sooner or later he will rise in judgment. Please, my brothers, I beg you, spare my life. Please, if my words touch your heart, then let me go. Shut up! If not, then this is my bosom. Kill me. Stab me to death. Kill me. Stab me to death. Kill me. Kill me, my brothers. Kill me.
here. I'm here before your throne, Papa. I have nowhere else to go. I'm here because you're the God of the fatherless. You're the help of the poor. You're the protector of the homeless. Please, God. The world has rejected me. I'm here in your arms, in your throne of mercy. Please. If I am guilty as charged, then reject me. Reject me and let me die a miserable death. But if I am not, show your kindness, Papa. Lead my way. Lead my way and comfort my soul. Comfort my soul, God. Comfort my soul. Comfort my soul, God. Come on, my soul, Papa. Come on, my soul, Papa. It is well with my soul. It is well. It is well. Priest of the Most High, speak to me. Why not speak to me? Oh, I can hear your voice through your tears. Your tears have spoken more words than you can utter. Oh, come and join me in my morning prayers. Almighty God is waiting this morning to hear from us. To hear from you, daughter. Come and join me. Let me know if I should leave or I can stay. I can only talk when you sit down. 
Okay. I want you to understand that everything that happened in your life, from the death of your parents, your grandmother, and the unfortunate incident that got you banished from the land of your bed, never happened by chance. I don't know why the young men did not kill you after you spoke to them in the bush. And why of all the places in the world, you choose to come to this church for refuge. But I know that God has been leading you on for a purpose. Father, I don't think my life has a purpose. Do you think it has? Your life has a purpose. That's the reason why you're still alive. Good news. I discussed everything with the council and they voted to allow you to stay here in the park. Oh! Really? Yes, you'll be moving into the boss orders later today. My God, thank you so much! I mean, thank you, Father, thank you so much! You're welcome. Thank Almighty God. It is His doing and it is marvelous in our sight. Yes, another good news for your daughter. Musa Ono ready to get a skill for you where you continue your education. Yes, the parish will see you through to any level you wish to attain. Really? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you are wondering who this lovely lady is. She is Miss Amarachi Neji. She's a first class degree holder in business management. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I introduced you your new general manager. today to you and I'm grateful. You owe everything you are to the grace of God. And to you too and to all those who God has used to touch your life. <sighs> what is it? I wish my parents were here. I wish my grandmother was here. I wish for so many things father. So many things. I understand how you feel. But you cannot change your destiny. And remember, no one has it all. No. The Bible says that all things work together for good to the love of God. You see, all things, everything is working for your good. You cannot change your past. But my dear, you can be the master of your future. Thank you, Father. Thank you for all your kind words. I promise I'll never disappoint you. You are welcome. You said they gave you an official resume. <gasps> yes! They gave me a lavishly beautiful house. Extremely big, Father. And they're also going to give me a brand new car tomorrow. My God, you are a mighty God. <laughs> you are a great God. Oh, you are the reward of them that diligently seek you. I am so happy. So when are you moving in, my dear? This weekend. I actually want to stay back and thank all the parishioners. They've been wonderful. You are a wonderful girl too. You deserve it. And you are a wonderful father. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. We thank God for it. Thank you. It's a mighty God. Who prepared this tender? 
Who prepared the tender? I handled the technical aspect of it, while the accounts manager handled the commercial aspect of it. Account manager, please tell me that one of your junior staffs drafted this out. That would sound a lot more convincing. We prepared it ourselves. Is there anything wrong in it? Everything is wrong with the tender. With all due respect, ma, the contract we are bidding for in the Federal Ministry of Aviation falls within my professional field as an engineer, and there is nothing wrong with the tender. There is nothing wrong with the tender? Yes. Okay. Operations Manager, these are guidelines for tender preparation issued by the Federal Government of Nigeria. Those guidelines have been in use for the past two years. Please, look at them from the first guideline to the tenth and tell me which of them your perfect tender conforms with. This is not the first time we are bidding for a government job in this office. We have prepared over 25 tenders ever before you joined this company. Well, account manager, I have searched through the company records and I never saw anywhere where you won any of those jobs. Am I wrong? Sorry, everything is wrong with this tender. Technically, it is shallow. Commercially, it is undervalued. I demand, sir, that if we want to win this job, then they have to rewrite another tender and follow the guidelines of the federal government. And I want to be part of that tender from scratch to finish. Thank you, Mr. Neji. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you all remember that Ms. Neji was out of this country when you commenced the preparation of this tender. She was away on company business. Since she's been back, she's been wanting to know how far the preparation of the tender has been. She raised some issues, and they're quite serious. I would have thought that you would cooperate with her, try and explain to her. But all this bickering that is going on, as if you are infallible. Remember that we have never won a government contract. And you have prepared many of them. And you have also forgotten that Ms. Neji is the general manager and as the general manager she has control over the preparation supervision and approval of all tenders she is answerable only only to me the ministry of aviation contract that we are chasing is worth over 10 billion naira I don't want to lose it I must not lose it remember Mr. Neji is in charge this meeting is over thank you very much sir well I would be glad if I could get the tender at my office 8 a.m. Monday morning thank you very much Why is that why she enjoys making everyone look like a fool before Chief ever since she joined this company? The curious thing is that Chief easily agrees with her. I don't like her style much, but it works. I guess that's why she's Chief's favorite. But I pray the bid fails. Why? Why? Because she sounds and acts like a perfectionist. Is she not one? Let's get into our offices before she comes here and meet us. I recommend for her son for gossiping in the office. Oh, that's true. You know she's capable of anything.
and a budget for the execution of the contract we we'll have with Global Charter Oil Company. You prepared this? Yes, ma'am. And Chief signed it? Of course, yes. I'm only here because of new rule that says you should can sign such documents before money could be released. Counter sign. I'm sorry, sir. You're going to have to cancel that. What? What, ma? I need the money involved. Will you so that I can mobilize both equipment and personnel to site by tomorrow? No. Operations manager, you will certainly get the money you need to execute that job, but not this work schedule and budget that you prepared. What is wrong with this, if I may ask? Everything is wrong with it. It lacks basic details. I mean, you said here that you need 35 million naira as a total sum to execute that job, without telling us the cost of the face-to-face -face activities of that job. Chief, I am a professional engineer and I know the actual cost and duration of this job more than anyone else in this company. Well, sir, Chief and I would love to be educated on that by you. Please. please. Chief, um, well, um, <clears throat> operations manager, thank you very much. Thank you. But I think you should do what the general manager has suggested. And when you have finished, um, you should give it to her to sign before you bring it to me. Did you know that it's her story I'm about to tell you? But of course. My husband never comes back home these days without telling me of one miracle or the other that the maverick has been lucky to found, has performed. Honestly, she is a godsend. Her refusal to sign a schedule prepared by the operations manager has saved the company a whopping four million naira. What? Yes. That greedy idiot. That's how he carries on enriching himself oh, yes. by running the company down? Yes. Darling, what did you do to him? Oh, I warned him seriously. Oh, oh there's more. Now, you remember um, a tender that was prepared by the uh, operations manager? Yes. And discarded by Amarachi. Yes. She rewrote and supervised it. We are about to win that job. Darling, you mean the 12 billion Naira Federal <laughs> Ministry of Aviation contract? Yeah. Oh, oh. Wow! <laughs> Damn. You know, I had a call from a very high ranking official of the ministry. Oh, yes. He spoke to me in confidence that our bid is the best, technically and commercially. <laughs> wow! <laughs> you know what that means? I do. We are going to win the bid. <laughs> oh, darling. Oh, how great. How 
fantastic. Oh, oh God, oh. Lee, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> thank God. Thank God. God. It's just so, so disheartening. Harry, our own son. Oh. up his father's business empire and he's just he's just there God please touch him for us oh Lord please Amen Amen you know, what makes me sad is the fact that we only have one child each time I see how Amarachi performs so brilliantly, I can't but help wishing that uh, she was her daughter. I don't know. I don't know why Harry has refused the palace that is built for him. Preferring to live out in the open just because of some medical madness that he calls a medical career. You know, sometimes I feel like a childless man. You feel like a childless father, Dad? Yes. You feel. Simply because your son is a grown-up man and he wants to do what he loves to do. But you rather push him into something else. You are not a full-grown man. You are a full-grown idiot. You are a full-grown disappointment. That is what your decision has made you. Said by mom and dad, when will either of you ever have something good to say about me? When? Harry, when you abandon this medical madness you call the pursuit of a medical profession and take over the business that your father has rightfully built for you. Mom, I am a qualified medical doctor, not a businessman. That's what I am. And I really don't care about your generational wealth. You can keep all your monies for all I care and just allow me to practice my profession. Over my dead body, you are going to inherit this empire whether you like it or not. I built it for you. It is my sweat. It is yours. You are our only child. Dad, if you don't know what to do with your money, your wealth, you can give it up to charity. Because like I've always said, and I'm still saying, I do not need it. Excuse me. find that I am tougher. It's all right. Having said that, let me now formally inform you that your page was indeed successful. <laughs> the general agreement among my colleagues is that I recommend your company to the Honorable Minister of Affection for the job. Congratulations. Thank you, BG. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, I give you my word that I shall do you top quality work. Oh, you already got said that. Thank you. Not to business. This is the recommendation file.
I call you so that we can go into agreement before I forward it to the minister's office. Go into agreement? Yes. My colleagues and I won 500 million naira cash if I can do the job. That's no much for a contract of 12 billion naira. 500 million naira? Yes. <laughs> DG, I am a businessman. I like to make some profit in whatever I do. <laughs> I mean, if, if I do as you have demanded, I'll be doing this job at a loss unless I do poor quality work. And I do not do poor quality work. In other words, you will not pay the money. DJ, the contract in question is to supply and install sensitive equipments to four of our nation's most strategic airports. Now, the air travelers may perhaps include you or I or our families. I will not take that risk. I will not take it. Not even for a one trillion dollar contract. No, I will not take it. I will not take that risk. Get me the file for the company that came second in the airport contract bids. Call the managing director to send me right away. DJ, please don't cheat me out of the contract I have won. Please. Please. Chief Kao, you have till close of work tomorrow to pay or forget the job. I'm through with you. Okay. <sighs> in the contract is going to turn you into the total stranger I've been with since you came back today. Why don't you just go ahead and pay the DG? Monica, I can't pay. I can't. Why? Obviously, you need this contract. Yes. So, why, why are you insisting on not paying the money? I can never pay a kickback. And she agrees with me and insists that we shouldn't. As a matter of fact, she has threatened to resign her position if I do it. And God knows that I would rather lose that contract than lose her. She is a gem. Yes, you're right. I agree with you that she is worth much more than the contract. Mm -hmm. And she has such strong Christian moral upbringing. We have. What? Does she have any alternative plan? Well, if she has, she has not told me. Um, when I was leaving the office, she was on her way to the aviation ministry. Ah. Maraji, welcome. Thank you, sir. Have you been able to convince him to back down? Unfortunately, sir. He stood his grounds and I to mine. But not to worry, sir. We have our good conscience and God's grace to fight him. Even if we do not get the contract, it's not the end of the world. 
I mean to say, sir, that I, I strongly believe that we will have the contract. How? Amarachi, how? I'm actually going to go to the aviation ministry tomorrow. That's because I do believe that place is not Sodom and Gomorrah. So there's got to be one person, anybody there, who still has his or her conscience intact. I am going to find that person and speak to that person. Sir, all my life I have never had to play dirty for anything. And I do not intend to start now. I am not a quitter. You really have to take things easy, sir. You have to. Thank you. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I should take yes, my yes, leave now. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good day, ma'am. Well, Miss Zayla, I'm sure that Tracy here must have told you that we're very good friends at the university. I ran into her at the Ministry of Aviation, but she told me she now works there, can't see of your kindness. Yeah, Tracy and I have been childhood friends. Well, I must say that you are a very good friend indeed. Miss Zayla, my company, Global Holdings Limited, has actually been having serious problems with the Ministry of Aviation for some days now. And the only person who can actually solve this problem is your father, who is the Minister of Aviation. In other words, you're asking me to help you get to my father? Exactly, Ms. Zayla. And I'll be very grateful if you can make this happen. Well, Ms. Amirachi, I'm sorry I can't help you. My father is a very strict man. And ever since his appointment, we, his children, have come to an agreement not to get involved in his official duties. So I'm sorry I can't help you. Zainab, if what she told me is true, I don't think helping her will make your dad angry. Don't you see? Yes. I don't want to get myself involved in this. Sorry, miss. But can I at least tell you what the problem is? Well, you can go ahead and tell me, but telling me will produce no results. Ms. Zayla, let me start by asking you, do you travel by air in this country? Then this concerns you, as much as it concerns me and millions of others traveling within and outside Nigeria. Two days ago, your father awarded a multi-billion Naira contract for the supply and installation of very sensitive equipment into four of Nigeria's most important airports. Now, the company that got that contract didn't actually win it. My company won that contract. Hi, I don't understand you. Well, the company who actually got that contract got it because they gave the sum of 500 million naira to some staff of the ministry so they could recommend them to your father at the expense of my company who actually won that contract. That was because we refused to pay. Now tell me, are the lives of millions of air travelers what a paltry sum of 500 million naira? That is including you, your family, your friends, and myself. That is what some people have sold these precious lives for by doing this. I don't want to let this happen. The question is, do you? have been awarded the aviation ministry contract. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait for it. The minister called me today, apologized, and told me that they had revoked the contract they signed with the other company, and we have been reinstated as the company with the best bid. <laughs> What? what? The DG and his cohorts 
are in the net of the EFCC. Something right. I mean, something right. <laughs> well, the contract will be signed on Friday. Meanwhile, you should start getting ready, getting prepared to meet the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> me? The minister called me and he, is, he said the president insisted on meeting the fearless Amazing who stepped on big toes to save the country another aviation embarrassment uh, uh, misery. Are you sure? You mean me? I, I'm, I'm going to meet the president. Oh, yes. oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god, I can't believe it! My, my, my dear, what, 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 what is the matter? Why are you crying? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's nothing. I'm just excited. I mean, oh. Hey. <laughs> nice to see me. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I am <laughs> Well, the lunch you have been invited to is not an ordinary lunch. As a matter of fact, today is my dearest wife's birthday. Oh my, oh, <laughs> happy birthday, Ma. I'm so sorry, I should have brought a card or something. <laughs> it's my turn. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> On her request, um, we are making it um, a family affair. You are the only one who has been invited, which goes to show you how much we love you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, <laughs> I'm so honored, son. I'm very grateful, madam. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Very welcome, indeed. Now, so we're going to watch my dearest wife make a wish, cut her cake, and then we toast her. Um, I'm just, oh, sorry to interrupt you, sir. You once said you had a son. He's out of the country, I guess. No, no. Um, actually, he's, um, he's in the house, upstairs. But please, um, don't let us spoil the, the moment of, of, of peace. Listen, even if he's aware of what we're doing today, of what today means, he still won't join us. Madam, you mean to say he's not aware of what's going on down here? Listen to me. It might shock you to hear what I'm about to say. But the truth is, my son, our son, he's turned into something we don't quite understand. And we don't like it. We're not happy about it. Please, just... Spare us. Let's continue. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, sir. Honestly, I am. I mean, I, I'm honored. I'm grateful. I'm so excited. I'm privileged to, to be invited. I mean, to be part of this. But I can't replace your biological child. I can't possibly do that, sir. Please, sir. Please. Just... Grant me the honor of going upstairs, bring him down here, so he can be part of this. 
That is the only way this can truly be a family affair. Please, sir. Please, ma. Please. I beg you. Very well. If you insist, it's um, up the stairs. First room on your right. Thank you, Sarah. We haven't. My name is Amarachi. I'm your father's new general manager. Oh. Yeah. Congratulations. My name is Henry. I know. Actually, sir, I, I'm so sorry I intruded into your privacy this way. But today is your mother's birthday. Your father is having a special family lunch for her downstairs. You weren't there, and I came to... I came to tell you. Amarachi, you know nothing about what is happening. Can you please leave my room? No gentleman has ever walked me out before. Oh, yeah? And you look like a total gentleman. Well, then I am pleased to be the very first person to walk you out of my room, and I give you ten seconds to do that. Well, sir, let me use that ten seconds to speak with you. You don't seem too happy with your parents. Why? Are they happy with me? Do you know if they're happy with me? They love you. That's what I know, sir. Tell me. If they love me so much like you say they do, would you, an outsider, be the one to inform me about what is happening downstairs? Would you? Would your parents do that to you? I don't know my parents. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, sir, we all are victims of misperception and prejudice at one time or the other in our lives. But when you are a victim, you have to find a way to straighten things out, set your records straight. And if I want to understand everything you've said, you obviously haven't tried to set your record straight. Why don't you start today, sir? By gracing your mother's birthday. Just a peck on the cheek and a happy birthday mother will go a long way. It will put a smile on her face. This is a chance for you to straighten your own record. Set it all straight.
Good afternoon, Dad. Happy birthday, Mom. Thank you. Um, about the birthday gift, he promised to get you one immediately we were through with this place. Didn't you, sir? Oh, we will? Yes, yes, we will. He will. Thank you. Oh, the toast? The toast, sir. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yes, yes. Toast. Yes. Well. <laughs> um, we knew that this was not an ordinary lunch. That it's going to be a special lunch. But we didn't know how special this special will be. <laughs> uh, Amarachi, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for helping us to make this a thoroughly family affair. Um, I think... <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> to your health. I can see you doing very well. Yes, I am. Well, I hope you don't mind me bringing you all the way down from your office to the company restaurant to spend some time with me. Not at all. I was just wondering what this is. I mean, nothing. Nothing. Cheers. You know, you've changed my life. I don't know how you did it on my birthday over the weekend. But well, my son Henry is, is a new person now. I'm happy to hear that, Ma. I only spoke to him and to his conscience. His conscience? That's why I'm here. I'm Arachi. Henry is our only child. His father, he made all the sacrifices to build this massive, multi billion naira business just for him. To make life very easy for his only child. I don't know what they did to my son when he went to school in the United States. But he came back to this country a totally different person. Choosing to abandon everything in pursuit of a fool's paradise. So, that's the bone of contention. Succession plan. Well, yeah, succession plan that that's been on for a long time. That he was a part of. Now he doesn't want to be a part of it anymore. Did he give you any reasons for his decisions, Ma? reasons, Marachi. And I don't care. All I know is that whatever his reasons, they are wrong. My son is naive and foolish. I don't know what you did. I 
don't know how you did it. And I don't care. All I'm asking is that you do it again. And I promise you, if you can bring my son to our side, my husband and I will be indebted to you for the rest of our lives. I'm here. I know we both agreed not to intrude into each other's privacy in the course of this dinner. Mm -hmm. But I beg to please break the rules. You want to break the rules? Yes, sir. Okay. Permission granted. Thank you. <sighs> Actually, sir, I was wondering. I mean, why aren't you part of the day-to-day -day runnings of Global Holdings Limited? Didn't you ask my parents? Nope. Why not? I figured out that if I ask them, they'll tell me why they think or what they think your reasons are for not joining the company. So I decided to ask you because that way I get to know the real reason why you don't want to join the company. And I don't get to judge you from their own point of view. I get to judge you from my own point of view. Okay. Well, it's the company that is the bone of contention now, right? Amarashi, my parents want me to join the company and be involved with the day-to-day -day running of the company. In fact, they want me to head the company once I come back from the States. But unfortunately, I am not a business administrator. I am a trained medical officer. That's what I am. I love the career I've chosen. I'm going to pursue it. And nothing can change it. Period. So if I get you correctly, your parents actually want you to abandon the medical practice and join the company? Absolutely. That's what they want me to do. And I refused. Now my refusal has made my parents and I the worst of enemies. That is what has happened. My father has gone ahead to seize my travel documents. Now I cannot return to the States. He's further gone ahead to use his influence to make sure I don't get an employment with any hospital or clinic. You see, I'm actually, I'm not a fool. I'm not a mistake. I am not the good for nothing son. I am not a disappointment like my dad and mother usually say. I'm just a man that is frustrated. Very frustrated. And my parents are responsible for my frustration. That, that's what's happening. Sir, I must say that your profession is a noble one. Entirely a very noble profession. But I don't think it wise for you to have a fight with a couple as determined and as influential as your parents. I mean, fighting with them will not help you. It will only frustrate you the more and wreck your ambitions. Because certainly they will succeed in the fights. And when they do, they look at you and say, we said it, he is a mistake. I don't think you want to give them that chance, sir. Do you? In very little words, you've been able to analyze the situation. That's good. I would say, join the company head the company just as they want and then after some time you could still expand the company into a medical field that way you go back to your first love through the back door that's never going to happen my dad would never ever ever allow it sir i think your father that i know the man i've worked with i see him more as a realist not a sadist 
I really think that you should give my words a thought. But all the same, I must say thank you for giving me the chance to speak with you. exactly where I'm going. I'm going with you. You are going with him to the office. Mom, Dad, let's just say I am willing to put all this behind me. I'm ready to do what you've always wanted. Yes, and, and I'm sorry for putting us through the trouble I have put us through for the past three years concerning this particular issue. I'm sorry. Well, we're, we're, sorry we're sorry too. too. Yes, we are sorry. Yes, 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 yes. I'll be waiting in the car. Right. I'm waiting. Yeah, he's been with you. She's running late. I don't understand. What do you think happened to him? I don't know. Ah, Amarachi told me that they were having dinner last night. Oh. So. That is it then. I forgot to tell you, darling, the last time I was in your office, I spoke with her. I told her she should talk to him on our behalf. And this here now is the result. Mm. Oh, Truly amazing. that girl. That girl has a magic wand that turns anything or anyone into a success. How I wish you were as a daughter. I just pray to God that he gives her complete joy and peace when she does find her destined man. Amen. She's so wonderful. She's such a blessing to us. Amen. My dear, I've got to go. <sighs> yes, darling. You know, I wish you good luck. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, and you too. <laughs> and you. Please. Agenda. Um, some of you have seen this young man on my right, some of you haven't. Um, oh, at this juncture, I would like to say that um, some of our senior managers are on official duties, that's why they are not able to be with us, but they send their regards. Um, this young man. Is my one and only son. He is Dr. Henry Kalu. Well, his visit this morning is not just a casual one. It is for him to assume his proper position as the new managing director of Global Holdings Nigeria Limited.
Well, um, I am sure we shall all cooperate with him as we've always been, uh, if not more so, so that he can be acquainted with uh, our system here. I myself, I shall retain the position of uh, chairman so that if there's anything we can do, we will do it with pleasure. Once again, we say welcome, Dr. Henry Kalu, our new managing director. Honestly, sir, I must say I have never seen your father as happy as I saw him today at the boardroom. Thank you so much for accepting to join us. You know, I should be the one thanking you. Thank you for talking to me, ending this war that has been going on for years. You know, we are indebted to you, especially me. It's nothing, really. I owe my entire life and everything I have to the kindness and efforts of people. My greater desire is to bring smiles, happiness, and peace into the lives of others. Besides, I should be the one thanking God for making me meet your family. Well, I don't know what to say next or what to do. I'm very nervous, you know, and I'm a novice at this. I'm just trying so hard not to make any mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Mistakes are part of learning. Expect them. Don't fear them. Besides, this is my office. In case you need any help, questions or advice, please knock on my door. Sure. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes. Have a good day. Great news for us, my dear. Now, let us toast. What are we toasting to, sir? Now, you remember the land you convinced me to buy near Port Harcourt? The one we agreed to build an oil tools manufacturing industry on? Exactly. What about it, sir? Well, information reaching me indicates that a major oil company has struck oil in commercial quantity on that land. <laughs> and any minute now, officials of that company will be knocking on our doors to commence uh, negotiations. That is good news, sir. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. That's good news. Oh, my dear. I am very, very lucky to have you in this company. Thank you, sir. Your health. Our progress. <laughs> yes, that. <laughs> yes. Mm. Please sit down. Thank you. Uh, right. I invited you here because, like I said, any minute now the officials of the oil company will be knocking on our doorstep, and I want uh, us to know what to do. Now, off the cuff. Just the first idea that occurred to me is that um, we sell, collect our money, and run. <laughs> What's he? I think um, I think it's a brilliant idea. Yeah, I'll go with that because uh, that way we can make millions, and millions of naira once we sell it off. But it depends if we have a good bargain. And have an investment that guarantees wealth to generations unborn in your family if we don't sell. How, how, how do you mean? Sir, I think that practically leasing the land is wiser. Yes, if we lease the land, we end up making millions today and more millions in future in form of royalties and rent paid on that land for as long as they drill there. Don't you think the community will make trouble if they realize we are leasing the land? They'll certainly make trouble whether we sell or lease. And trust me, the oil company in question will not pay a dime until they are sure that the host community is in support of whatever is going to happen on that land. Even with our certificate of occupancy, which ensures that 
we are the legal owners by law? Sir, it is a traditional society. And in issues like this, the law and the government positions are often fluid, not rigid. Oh. Ah. Very well. I think we'll go for the leasing option. But both of you will be in charge of the negotiations, should there be any. No problem, sir. Good. So once again, I say to us, congratulations. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, sir. <laughs> In summary, Chief, the host community wants the global holdings to relinquish the ownership of the land in question to them. Uh, no refund merit, no compensation paid. Nothing. Their lawyer even told me that uh, they are ready to go to court, and I want us to do so before then. Barrister, what do we stand to benefit by doing so? Uh, this is our case to lose, and they know it. The government issued a certificate of occupancy for the land. I mean, I tend to agree with the barrister because I, I feel if there's any form of delay, we might just end up losing everything. I beg to disagree, sir. Going to court will not solve this problem. Mr. Neji, I'm giving my professional advice and opinion as a lawyer. And I would if you'll allow me to do that for which the company pays me for. So you can profit at the expense of the company? Watch your tongue. That's scandalous. And I demand that you withdraw the statement. That now. is the truth, Barrister. Else, why would you and the community lawyer be so much in a hurry to go to court when even we, the parties involved, have not met to negotiate? I want you to get one thing straight. I'm not a hungry lawyer, and I will never be one. With all due respect, Barrister, I do not remember calling you one. Uh, Mr. Neji. You are suggesting that we negotiate with the host community? Yes, sir. Why, if I may ask? Sir, if we go to court, certainly we will win the case. But legal victory will not guarantee us the land and the benefits therein. If the host community refuse for the oil company to come into that land, the oil company cannot drill on that land and they will not pay us a dime. This will result into another Ogoni case. Remember, the federal government just revoked the license of Shell in the Ogoni land. Sir, if this crisis erupts and lingers on, we will face the same fate. We will not only lose the amount of money we use to buy the land, we will also lose the amount of money we give to the gentleman here to prosecute the case. Chief, the government will not revoke the certificate of occupancy for the land. If they do, we will sue them. I can assure you we will win the case. Tell me, Barrister, in which court of law did Shell sue the federal government to when their license was revoked? Tell me, Barrister, or don't they have a lawyer? Both cases are different, and I think we can... Uh, let's, let's go right. Thank you. Thank you, Barrister. Thank you very much. My decision is that um, we should opt for negotiating with the host community. And um, Ms. Neji and Dr. Kalu will next week proceed to Port Harcourt to commence discussions with the host community. Once again, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Having come this far in this negotiation without any meaningful agreement, Dr. Henry, let me now make my community's position very clear to you. The land in question is our ancestral land. We will never allow any non-indigenous to benefit in the resources of the land. Therefore, the transaction we had with your company over the land is null and void. Yes. Yes. Mr. Obed. You have absolutely no right to speak to us like that. Who the hell do you think you are? Well, I am my community's representative. Does that give you the right to speak to us like that? I am not God, but are they you and the oil company 
to set your foot in that land without our consent. You know what, Mr. Hobert? You're going to pay for this. And I'm going to go to ex every extent. Ex excuse me, sir. Please. Please sit. Please. Well, Mr. Hobert. Truthfully, Global Holdings Limited has never ever questioned your right over that land or the resources therein. If we had, we will not be here to negotiate with you. Please, I want us all to proceed on a two hours break where we can calm our frail nerves. After which, I indulge us all to please negotiate and discuss as friends, not as sworn enemies. Please, I beg you. Please, Mr. Obed. Please come with me, sir. What is it? Sorry. The way you are going, you might not make headway with these negotiations. I mean, you have to pull yourself together. The guy was beginning to piss me off. That might be a deliberate act. They're not daft. They know they stand a better chance. They have an advantage here. So you have to pull yourself together else we move nowhere. But we've already exhausted what we agreed on to give to them with my father. Sir, I know that. That is why I wanted us to take a break so we can think of something new. Without my father's consent? Sir, your father did not send us here to negotiate as puppets. Situations have changed. That means we have to compromise. Okay. What do you suggest? I say we give them 20% on whatever the company is giving to us for the land. And also give them the free hand to negotiate on community development and every other thing that they might need personally with the company. That would be a tough one. My father won't like it. Well, sir, he has no choice. If the community accepts our negotiations on this land, then we have to play their card that way. Else we move nowhere. So you have to call him up now for us to know what he thinks we should do or what he would rather do. Sir. Yes. Your Excellency. Ah. <laughs> oh, this is a great honor. Uh, what? Really? Uh, 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 thank, thank you, Your Highness. Thank you. Thank you for letting us know yourself. <laughs> thank you. What? Y yes, I shall be there next week. Myself, yes, personally. Oh, thank you, Your Highness. Thank you. Goodbye, Your Highness. Darling? Darling? Yes, dear? Oh, she has done it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amarachi. What has she done now? Her brilliance has won the day once again. The host community has accepted what she suggested. Are you serious? Oh, the traditional ruler has just called me on this number. Have you told her I'm Henry yet? No, I think I'm, yeah, you're quite right. I think I, I should call them. No, no. Don't call them. We have to go to the office and inform everybody personally. <laughs> and I would personally want to thank Amara on behalf of my grand and great grandchildren. Yes, I think that would be an excellent idea. Oh, my God. You know, I think this is more than just a thank you. Um, I was thinking a check for five million naira for her. You have my support. Oh. She deserves far 
more than that. Oh, thank you, my dear. <laughs> Let's go and get dressed and get to the office. Yes. <laughs> Let's go get dressed. Yes. Let's go get dressed. Ah. Oh. Um, yes, as I told you, the leasing agreement with the oil company and the MOU with the host community will be signed tomorrow. And I want both of you with the company lawyer will be going to sign on behalf of the company. Sir, I was thinking that he alone could go with a company lawyer. No, 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 no. no. I think the three of you should go. Um, you might want to look at the final draft of the agreement. All right, sir. Yeah. No, I don't think you have anything you're doing in the office. So that is the end of the day, so go and pack your things, and uh, your flight is 4 p.m. to Port Harcourt. No problem, sir. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. Uh, sir. Yes, sir. A real man does not hide his feelings from a woman after... I see it in your eyes every time she's near you. What? <laughs> I'm on. I am not in love with you. You are going to Port Harcourt together. Bear your mind, your heart to her. Hmm? Death. The, the, the way... Death. Go on, son. Go on, my son. <laughs> uh, <you. laughs> I know the tricks. I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> Good luck, sir. <laughs> so, how do you like the food? It's very good. <laughs> Great. You're welcome. You know, Maybe I should take you out. You know, maybe we should just go to the club. A club? Hmm? Um, sorry, sir. I haven't been to a club in my entire life. Oh, why not? Well, there's always a first time to everything. And maybe we should just do it for experience sake. No, sir. I think I'd better just go to my room and relax. Thanks all the same. If you don't mind. Right. No. That's fine. Oh, are, are you ready to leave? Whenever you're ready. Oh, just a minute then. Cool. I'm ready. Okay. Let's go. Switch to CNN. So, hmm? I'm actually very tired. I want to go and take a shower and be tired to bed. But you can watch CNN in your own room. I'm sure they have it there. I'm sorry, but this is supposed to be our room. What? You mean that you and I are going to be... We are supposed to share this room. <gasps> that, that's a joke. I mean, we can't possibly share the same room. Listen to me. You know the problems we went through coming from the airport to this hotel. By the time we got here, there was so much traffic. It's the only room that was available. You don't believe me. Hello? Reception? Please, are all your rooms fully booked? Thank you. <clears throat> well, sir, this is not the only hotel in Port Harcourt. You're going to have to go out there, try and look for another hotel that has a vacant room, so you can move in there. Marachi, why do you want to put me through that? It's risky traveling at night. And secondly, why would you want me to lodge into a hotel that I don't trust the way I trust this one in this city? God forbid, sir. You and I can't stay in the same room. 
You're a man and I'm a woman. How are we supposed to... Amirachi, I understand you. I know what you're thinking. I understand your fears. But I can promise you I will be a complete gentleman. There's no space for you to stay here, sir. There's no space in this hotel, sir. You and I can't stay. The, the room is for one. You and I can't stay together in the same room. Amirachi, yes, I promise. I will be a complete gentleman till morning. No, sir. Please, sir. You can't stay here, sir. You have to go look for another hotel that has a vacant room. Then you can move in there. Please, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. What time is it? What? Hey, I gotta take my bath. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Thank you for keeping your promise last night. Uh, you're welcome. I'm the one sorry for inconveniencing you last night. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Please, I want you to move to another room. Sure. But let's take our bath first. And then I'll check if there's uh, another room. I'll move into a separate room or get another hotel. Okay? Please, sir, don't go into my bathroom. If you go into the bathroom, then I will not follow you for the signing ceremony. Emirati. What has me leaving this room got anything to do with you going with me into the ceremony? Everything, sir. And I might have to take the next available flight back to Lagos. I don't want you and I to be in this room in the next 10 minutes. Please, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, is there any room available? Yeah, good, good. Reserve it for me, please. Yeah, for today. Thank you. I'm sorry, sir. see you all dressed and ready to go, shall we? Of course, I mean, I was meaning to ask you, sir, who are we actually dining with? Oh, some friends of mine from America. I ran into them this afternoon. That means you still went out after the signing ceremony? Well, almost immediately. Why you ask? <laughs> That's kind of because you're, I mean, you look too gorgeous for just dinner. Thank you. And you look Beautiful in your outfit. Thank nice you. dress. That's my favorite color, orange. Thank you. Oh. What, what, what did you do that for? Why did you do that? I'm sorry. Please leave, sir. I'm alright. I said I'm sorry. No problems. I want to reapply my makeup. Please leave. Alright. Fair enough. But, um, are you still going to go with me? That's why I'm reapplying my makeup.
Good morning, sir. Good morning. How is your name? Fine. Just jet lag. And yours? Yeah. Same here. Jet lag. Um, sorry. Something you want me to help you do? Sir. Sorry? I was asking if there was something you wanted me to do for you. Oh, no, no. I... It's... I had a dream about you last night. And... I'm... I'm very busy, sir. It's alright. Fair enough. Have a good day. Sir. in my dream too. What, what it, it wasn't anything serious. I mean, you were just... Sorry. Right. Mine wasn't anything serious either. You know, what just amazed me was I don't usually dream. You know, uh, worse this time, I had a dream. And I dream about a lady. And I woke up missing her. You know, I spent my whole night thinking about you. I thought so. I was just thinking. Thinking. See, what will his parents say? Don't think you're just an idiot. An idiot who wants to be a gold digger. Want to rip from you, you did not sow. That's what they'll think. They'll think you just warm your way into the family heart so that you can get close to their son who is the heir of the billionaire business and then you can get something out of them. They'll think you're useless. That's what they'll think. Oh God. I have to stop. I have to stop now. I have to stop. I won't speak to him again. I won't speak to him again. No, 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 I'll speak to him, but you have to go his way and I'll go my way. No, but we're working together. Oh, well, I'm going to tell him I'm not interested. I'm not interested in anything. He has to just leave me alone. Hello? Hello, Amarachi. Um, I'm sorry if I woke you up. I wasn't sleeping. Can't sleep. At this time of the night, you're not asleep. You don't sound like someone who's sleeping yourself. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. You and um... Amarachi. Amarachi. Oh my God, she put the phone down on me. Oh my Call at this time of the night. I'm such a fool. Oh God. Oh. 
mom. You ought to be asleep by now. I was walking past your room. I decided to check up on you. Now I walk in and find you looking so worried and tensed up. What's wrong? Come on, son, talk to me. I'm your mother. What is the problem? Mama, I'm in love. <laughs> you are in love. You are yeah. in love. And my type no with who? Mama can't tell you. Why? She's a... Uh, um, she's... She's who? I'm in love with Amarachi. This is sounding quite interesting. So have you told her? That's a sad part. But I think she has an idea though. Great. Actually, son, there is nothing wrong with falling in love. It's a very good thing. A wonderful thing. And you are a full-grown man. It's no reason to get so apprehensive and tensed. You go to sleep now, okay? Go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 well. Do you think it would appear as if I'm taking advantage of her because she works for us? Don't worry about a thing. Your dad and I will talk about this in the morning. You go to sleep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sleep in peace. <laughs> Honestly, Father, I don't understand myself. What was I thinking? How could I fall victim to something I myself criticize? How could I fall for my boss? Oh, God. Amaraji, love is like the wind. It can blow wherever it wants to blow. And no one can stop it. I have to stop this one. I have to stop this one. In fact, I'm quitting my job. I'm quitting my job to do so, Father. What? Now, you're making a very big mistake. Father, I have already made a mistake by falling for my boss. Oh, God. Father, I know that quitting my job might not be able to help me forget him completely, but at least it will bring me back to sanity. At least. I can't force you to change your mind. But before you do anything, Father, I want you to remember that love is sacred. It is more powerful than even the most determined human mind. Just like the word of God says, that love is the fulfillment of the scripture. It could bring joy and peace to your life, and it could also devastate you. Ask yourself, will killing this true love bring peace and joy to your life, or will it devastate you? Think, my dear. I don't know, Father. I don't know. God, I need your help. I need you to help me. Because I love her very much. I do. Yes, come in. Ah, Amarachi. Miss Amarachi, sir. Please. I'm sorry. I came to tender my resignation letter. What? You are quitting? 
and resigning sir. Thank you very much for allowing me to work in your company. It was fun and I had very good experience. And please, my love to your parents. Okay, I'm I, 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 listen, just listen to me. I can't stop you from working. But if you think you're walking away because of me, you're wrong. You're very wrong. Because I won't let you out of my life. Sir, please, you have to. Oh, Amaraj, the love that I have has turned me into your shadow. And I won't let you run away. And I can swear to you from this moment on, I won't let you out of my sight. God, why should I always be the one? Amaraj, I love you. I'm in love with you. I was resigning because Will you marry me? I'm not sure. Will you marry me? Will you marry me? dreamt many beautiful dreams in my life. I have never dreamt one this beautiful. Well, I am very proud of both of you. Thank you, Dad. And you both have my support 100 times over. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, if I were a priest, I would wear both of you right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. You are not just going to be my daughter anymore. You are going to be that one daughter I never had. Thank you. All my life I've craved to have a family of my own. Thank you for making me a part of your family. I, I, I don't understand. <clears throat> well, actually, she didn't know her parents. And uh, she was left in the streets after birth. Yeah. It was a priest that found her and brought her up. Come, come. Come, come to me. Oh, no. Thank you. Listen to me. I'm your mother. And we will be your parents. You don't have anything to worry about. Thank you. Somehow I lose my track. Somebody tell me what to do. Cause I'm looking up to you. How could I lie to them? How could I lie to them? God, for the very first time in my life, I lie and I lie to those who love me so very much. How could I lie? What was I supposed to do? What? And which family is going to allow their son to get married to me if they hear about my past? Which one? <laughs> what was I supposed to do, God? But I lied. I should have lied. I lied. Hello, honey. What is wrong? Why are you crying? What's wrong? I'm so scared. I'm scared, Harry. It's okay. I didn't tell you. I mean, the speed at which everything is happening since we agreed to get married last week. I mean, look at the elaborate engagement party your father's trying for us. I'm just, I'm just scared. I'm just scared that I might wake up one morning and find out that it's a huge dream. That's all. It's okay. 
You're not dreaming. Okay? You're not dreaming. All right? My world is real, and there's nothing in it to be afraid of. I love you. I love you so much. I, know. I love you. I know. I love you so much. I know. And I love you too. <laughs> Aviation minister and some top government officials are on their way to grace your engagement party. Exactly. What? what? <laughs> now, aren't you happy, lucky, proud to be marrying a girl even the president considers a child of his own? Well, yes. <laughs> yes, I guess I'm a very lucky child and even luckier to have fallen in love with you and I believe I'm the luckiest to be marrying you. Oh, wow. <laughs> but Father, I was wondering, I mean, why make the engagement party such an elaborate one when the wedding is just a month away? Because my dear young lady, you are elaborately made by God. Exactly. And you are excellence and grandeur on two feet. Now you're making me blush. <laughs> that is a side of my father you are yet to discover. He is such a poet. Obviously. And that was how he swept me off my feet the very first time we met. Hey, my dear. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> you know, it really amazes me how intense your love is even at the stage of your marriage. Oh, my dear young boy. Um, true love has no expiration date. I'm talking about uh, envy. Your mother and I envy both of you every what second. What is going on? <laughs> because you are such a perfect match. Thank you, Father. Death, the guest, the waiter. Yes, indeed. After you. After you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 Cool. We're celebrating now. <laughs> After you. <laughs> Yes, I like it. I like it very much. Come <laughs> on. No wonder. No wonder Henry sneaks out to fill his stomach in her house all the time. <laughs> Yes. Now you're making her blush. <laughs> Believe you me, this food is as complete in taste as you are in virtue. Thank you very much, Father. You're most welcome. I must say that when Mother first called and said I should come over for the weekend, she also said I was going to be doing the cooking all through my stay. I was scared. I was really scared. But now I'm glad. I mean, I'm glad you like the food, <laughs> mix up to your taste. Yes. Because funny it's enough, nice. nobody taught me how to cook. Oh, yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank it's you. beautiful. You've been able to learn from Mother Nature. And Mother Nature is the best teacher. I love you for that. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
What are you doing? Oh. Good morning, mother. Good, Good morning, mother. Good morning. Good morning. I was actually just in the chairs. No, you can't be doing that. The mates are being paid to do that. Yours is just to tell them whatever you want them to do and ensure they do it to your satisfaction. Yes, ma, but this is the second time they are dusting the furniture and at the end I still see dusty particles. So I said to do it myself today so they can learn from the way I do it. They fools. That's how they lay about the house all day, doing nothing. And we end up paying them at the end of the month. My dear, please, leave them to complete the rest. Come. Please. Go back to your room and rest. You need it. Please, Ma, don't scold them. They are really learning fast. I, mean, I, I just insisted on doing it myself. Else, they were doing it well already. And secondly, please let me finish. I'm already true. Besides, I still need to see what the other mates are doing. The kitchen, outside. I have something I need to teach them. You know. It's okay. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> She's such a mixer and leader. No wonder all my mates are happy when she's around. And this goes on top of it. Oh, this is wow. terrific. Wow. You can't wear the wedding gown until that day. So, I just have to keep describing. <laughs> How beautiful. Thank you. Absolutely. What more? Oh, yes. My handband. <laughs> oh, I need to go. Hey. <laughs> oh, I need to go. <laughs> My banquet. This is really beautiful. Really beautiful. And the wedding wrist. Ah. It's pure gold, I must say. Whoa. <laughs> pure gold. Wow, wow, wow. Come on, show them your suit. This suit is wonderful. Show us them. Yeah. Oh. There you have it. My jacket. Beautiful. Oh, nice. <laughs> so. Oh. You are going to look like an absolute angel in that gown. Dad, <laughs> she is already an angel. And this angel is mine. Mm -mm. This angel is ours. Because we all in this family have seen and felt her presence in one way or another. Absolutely. <laughs> to think that that was the only point in this family. What a mistake. I can now see it runs in the family book. <laughs> well, like, except oh, me. So dear. included. <laughs> my dear, every good poem is inspired by something extraordinary. And you are more than extraordinary. I think I need to hide my face. <laughs> That's magic. That it just... 11 days time my little boy henry is going to become a full grown real man i haven't heard you say congratulations dad <laughs> <laughs> please congratulate my son yes i deserve it yes sir yes sir <laughs>
Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> yes, I am. Mm. Mm. I miss you more. I can't wait to get married to you. I mean, this house is rather becoming too boring. <laughs> it's hmm. only two days away. There's two more days the wait will all be over. I can't wait. <laughs> anyway, I came to pick you up. I'm sending you home. Say you're kidding me. I just left your house this morning. Why would you? Well, my auntie just arrived for the wedding and she insists that she meets you today. Well, it's more like before the wedding day. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You will like her, she's the favorite. Yes, Lee, you seem to be very fond of her. Yes, she's like uh What's the right description? She's like another mother to me. Uh-oh. What am I still doing here? Let me go get dressed up and meet my second mother-in-law. <laughs> Should I come help you out? No, my love. Come on! You said it's just two days away. It's not a long time to wait. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm coming. Come on. Help. I can just change the top. No. Wicked manner. I lied. What do you mean your past has gone with you? And that you have lied? What is the big deal? We all lie a little at times. I lied so big. I lied so big. And I'm sorry. Please let me go. Do you know her? <laughs> Sister. She's the devil that murdered my son only 10 years ago. <laughs> I'm sorry. What?
That was how I came to the church. I wasn't picked off the street like I told you. I lied. I lied out of the fear of the unknown. The unknown that has now stared me in the face so real with this cruel reality. And I'm sorry. Please hurry. Call off the wedding. I don't deserve your love. And look for your wife. I will pray to God to give you the right person. I'm sorry. You want to pray to God to help me forget you? He's not going to answer such a prayer. You're right. Because even though no souls that's unfortunate. It wasn't your fault. You're not to be blamed. You were only protecting yourself. That's clear. Listen, I'm not you. I love you. I still love you. Maybe even more. Nothing has changed. You And a realistic situation. Stop waxing emotional. He is not waxing emotional. <laughs> it's not. Your troubles in life did not stop the day you came to my parish to take refuge ten years ago. Trials and difficulties are part of life. God has brought you this far. Don't spit in his face by harming yourself. You owe the parents the truth. Just like you've told him. I want you to go to his house, go to their house, and ask that woman for forgiveness. I believe she will grant you. May the good Lord be with you. <laughs> you can, Amaraji. I can. Yes, you can. You can. You can. I'm sorry. Amaraji, you can. I love you so much. You can. I love you, but I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. We didn't know. Person. Oh God. Oh my God. Here comes the devil again. How dare you? How dare you set your evil feet in my house again? You liar! You murderer! Mother, she's here to explain. Explain what? She is a liar! A murderer! Now you listen to me, young lady. As long as I live. My son will never marry a woman who has her hands soaked with the blood of the innocent. Mother, I... don't you call me that. I'm not your mother. I beg you. What happened was an unfortunate accident. It was. Just listen to the witch speak. Auntie Rose, do not call my fiance a witch because she's not. She's my fiancé and I love her very much. Please. She is your fiancé. You love her. Fine. Ask her. Ask her. What happened to her biological parents? How did they die? Who kills them? My parents died of food poisoning when I was less than two. Who poisoned them? Besides you, who else was living with them then? No one else. The food poisoning was not as a result of a deliberate human act. It was due to a another accident, right? Yes. 
Amarachi, you are a witch. Whatever you touch meets with sudden death. God forbid that I will let my nephew and his parents fall victims to you as my son did. Auntie Rose, you are allowing your emotions to drive you into making false allegations against my fiance. And that is not right. Because you have no proof. Henry! Alright, fine. If she's lying against you, why did you lie to us about yourself? I'm sorry. She's sorry. Now you listen to me. Young lady, if you have anything left in this house, you better pick it now. Because the next time I see you anywhere near this house or my office, I swear to you by the spirits of my ancestors that I shall avenge the death of Nonso with your blood. Oh, Father, you can't. Now you listen to me. Now you have one option. Either to stay with your family or to go with this thing. Oh 
Hello, baby. How are you? Where are you? I'm in church. What do you want? All right, so please don't talk like this. Listen, I'm calling because I want to apologize. Okay, I am sorry about yesterday. I'm so sorry I wasn't decisive on what I wanted to do. I should have made up my mind. I should have followed you. I'm so ashamed of myself. Mary, it's not your fault. I'm just thankful for all of it. My destiny, my life, everything about me is to blame. Not you. I'm a Raji. Listen to me. I love you. I'm in love with you. Okay? And I need you in my life. Harry, if you love me, then do what your parents and auntie Rose have asked you to do. Forget me. That's better for you and I. I'm in my office now, and I can't concentrate. There is nothing I can concentrate on. I'm trying to get some work done. I can't concentrate. And I don't think I will be able to concentrate until you're back in my life. Please. Listen, I'm coming to see you, alright? Why? What? I'm sorry. I was just losing it. I'm losing it. I'm sorry. Now, I'm going to come to your house. I'm going to wait for you. When you come, we will talk it over. All right? We will make it work. We have to make it work. Please. Okay? Meet me at your house. I don't want any problems. I don't want any problems. There's nothing to talk about. Come on, Rachel, please. We can make this no. happen. We can make it work, okay? I can't. Harry, please. I'm begging you, please. I'm trying to get over all this. Don't make things worse for me. Let's just go inside. Sit down and talk. We are not going... Auntie Rose, I've told you once before, Amarachi is not a witch. She's my wife. Oh, who you will marry should I die today? Boys! Stop, stop. Get to work. Auntie Rose, please, ma. I was in church all through last night praying for... Please, sir. If it were in the days of Moses, people would have taken your cups out of the church this morning. For daring to approach the Almighty with all the blood on your hands. Please, sir. God is not a human being. He forgives. No, oh, shut up! Shut up! What is keeping you? The car keys. Oh. Dad, you can't do this. Henry, get into the car and let's go. Oh, car keys. The car keys. Huh? I said, let's go! I have to drop dead to live here without Amarachi. Henry! Do you know what you're saying? Do you want the boys to help you into the car? I can't leave you alone. If you love me, let go. Please. Henry! Come in. Amarachi. I told you 
10 years ago that your joy and peace died with my son. So if I were you, I would commit suicide. Yes, that's just the thing to do. So that you can go to the other side and apologize to the only person you want apologize to, my son, Nonso. Harry, let's go. What do I do when the world seems to be crashing down on me? What do I do when the one seems to stand by me? Our own and our own, till I find my rest. Our own and our own, till I find my rest. Our own and our own, till I find my rest. What do I do when the world seems to be crashing down on me? What do I do when no one seems to stand by me? I run and I run till I find my rest. I run and I run till I find my rest. Whoa, yeah, whoa. Till I find my rest. Whoa. Mm. What's the problem? Put yourself together and talk to me. Just talk to me. Amara. Put yourself together. Just talk to me. I'm not here with you. Talk to me. What happened? Why are you crying like this? Shows what? Just, just follow me. Follow me, please. Going. What does it look like I'm doing? Harry, do you want to walk out on your family? I told you last night that you will not leave this house until you denounce that murderer. I was not joking last night. I am not joking now. And I told you last night I will not denounce Amarachi until the day I die. I wasn't joking last night and I'm not joking now. Now let me pass. Out of my way! You think you know me? Hey! Do you want to stab your father? And I will stab each of you if he doesn't get out of my way. Hey, please. Please. Oh, what? 
Please keep letting go. Is the witch at work again? Out of my way! I don't want her to succeed as she did with my son. But Henry, why, why are you so eager to kill yourself? Why did you become so suicidal, Henry? He he's not acting with his senses anymore. My only prayer is that God will show him a sign and open his eyes before the witch succeeds. Out of my way! He thinks I'm making things up. So let's go. Let's go and pray. Let's pray that the that the mighty God, that the mighty God will show him the sign and open his eyes and say, Let's pray. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, you are the mighty one in battle. You said that when your children are in trouble and they call upon your name, that you are there for them. Therefore, Father, come out of the kingdom of glory. The hour has come right now. I'll make it right. Harry. Why are you such a murderous witch? Harry. Deny it. Deny you're not on a mission in my life and my family. What are you saying? Deny that you did not kill Nonso to satisfy your thirst for innocent blood. Harry. Yes. Auntie Rose was right. What are you saying? You're nothing but a bloody witch. Now give me my ring. Then yeah, please accept. Please. Give me back my ring. You try it again. Dare try my life. And I'll kill you myself. What do I do when the world seems to be crashing down on me? What do I do when the world what hurt me was not the things that they said. But what hurt me was that Harry said them himself. He believed it, Father. He needed to hear his voice. Oh, his voice, Father. His voice was like the nails in my coffin. His voice was what hurt me the most, Father. It's okay. His voice. It's okay. Pull yourself together. I understand how you feel. On two different occasions, I've tried to speak to the family, but they wouldn't even listen to me. Why, Henry, would treat your feelings like this? 
It's beyond understanding. I, I can't understand. Why me, Father? Why me? Why? Amarachi, there is no wound, no pain, absolutely nothing time can not heal. Trust in God so that He will finish what He's doing in your life. In all things, give Him thanks. He knows about you. Yes, He is working out a purpose in your life. Give me a hand, let's pray. Let's pray. At that horrifying moment, the words of Auntie Rose last night and just before I left came rushing to me and then I realized that I've been saved by God. He opened my eyes and then I could see things clearly. That is the science he was talking about. Here am I. I went straight to her house, confronted her on her evil deeds. I called off the relationship. I even have the engagement ring that I give her. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Son, a real man is known by his actions in trying times. I myself, I have been in love with your mother for over 36 years and I know how difficult what you are doing is it takes a lot of guts and I am proud to call you a real man thanks dad son please just take your time and find your own wife Auntie Rose, thanks for saving my life. You're welcome. And I'm sorry for the things I said about Nelson last night. Well, um, you rendered the best apology by doing what you did. I have nothing against you anymore, whatsoever. Nothing. Thank you. Yes, my dear. This is a retreat for the priest of the parish. We use here for meditation. As you can see, this is Shagam, very far from the city center. I brought you here to keep you away from anything that will be reminding you of your recent events in your life. It will help in your healing process. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. This is the word of God. Read it. Meditate on it every time. It will heal you. It will comfort your soul, my dear. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. Thank you so much for all your kind words. I'm grateful. But please, Father, pray for me before you go. Thank you. You know. You are the Lord, my 
Bible tells me that there is nothing like a hopeless situation before God. If God could raise Lazarus from the dead after four days, how much more you who is still breathing? The Bible says that with faith we can move mountains. This illness of yours is your own mountain. Why don't you have faith, believe in God, and bring your hand. Let's move this mountain of yours together with prayers of faith. Okay? In Jesus' name. In the name. Heavenly Father, we bless and we worship your name. We give you all glory and honor, adoration, praises, thanks, dominion. Father, because you're the King of Kings, you're the Lord of Lords, you're the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. So my dear, how have you been faring for the past two weeks? Better than I expected. As I told you on phone, Father, I now spend my time in hospitals, destitute homes, and prison yards. My God, Father, you will not believe it. But spending time with the sick and people in these places, my God, it's so fulfilling. It's so inspiring. I mean, it makes me believe in life once again. It's like magic. That's good. You see, my dear, the dead are not just those who no longer pray but also those who has lost their hope and faith. God is not yet true with you. Amen. So don't give up on him and don't give up on me too. <laughs> Always remember the ways of your dying grandmother. It's very important. I could never forget that, Father. That's good. Besides, you promised to go to Henry's house to speak with his parents on my behalf. Have you? I try to, but they refuse to see me. Do you still pray for them as I told you? Yes, Father. I owe them my prayers till the day I die. Oh, that's good. Very wonderful God. Thank you, Father. Your place. Amen. Thank you, Father. praying for you. Hmm? God will soon lead you to your destined wife. Amen. And when he does, you will experience real joy and love. Now promise me that when you find your wife, you will call and tell me. Yes. Um, I'll let you know once I find her. That I can promise you. I know you will keep your promise. I know. Um, please. He needs your guidance, prayers, and encouragement. The worst is far behind us. Mm. Hmm? It's laughter all through henceforth. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care of yourself, man. Sunny. Sir. You are driving, madam, all the way home. In Abia State. So drive very carefully, huh? Eh? Nothing. 
until their relatives arrive. But she might die before they get here. Nurse, I said, do nothing until they come. Okay. Okay? Yes, doctor. Good day, doctor. Who was he referring to? An accident victim. She lost so much blood. And if she does not get blood transfusion, she might die in the next 30 minutes. And the doctor is saying you should do nothing about it until her people come? Yes. We don't have our match in our blood bank. Not, not. Can I see her? No, it's a horrible sight. I can't let him to the room. No, you never can tell. A little prayer might save her life. Please. Okay. But you have to make it brief. I'll make it brief. Very brief. Let's go. horrible sight. She was very lucky to get here alive. Her driver died on the spot. Oh, pray for her if you can stand the sight. No, sir. Please, I beg you. I beg you in God's name. Take me to your lab. Check my blood. If it matches, please, so all you can save her life. Do you know her? No, sir, there's no time for all this talk. Please, just take me to your lab. Check my blood. If it matches, just help me save her life. Please, I beg you. Okay, please. Okay. Okay. And, and can they move her from this room? To the safety board. I'll pay. I'll pay for everything. No problem. Thank you. Donate blood to the accident victim. I have screened her blood and it matches that of the woman's blood type. And who is that lady? I don't know her doctor, but she comes here often to pray for the patients. Doctor, please take my blood and save the woman's life, please. What is her name? Doctor, every minute we stand here talking draws her nearer to her grave. Please. Take my blood, save her life, and then you can ask me all the questions later. Please, sir. Please. Okay. She's unconscious. And she may remain in this condition, as you can see, for many weeks. What? what? Yes. But I will show you that the worst is over for her. Thank you, Doctor. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you, Doctor. Um, you were saying something about uh, blood. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, how did, did you get the one you're giving her? A kind lady donated her blood. In fact, she could not stand after we had taken six pints of blood from her. Oh, six, six pints. pints! God, where is this lady? Because I think she deserves to be rewarded handsomely. You see, Doctor, this lady, this lady is my sister-in-law. It's sister. My wife's sister. sister. This lady! Saved my son from destruction only recently. You can see she means the world to us. And anyone who can make such a sacrifice deserves more than a thank you. I'm sorry, Chief. We had no data on her. What? See, not that we've not tried. She was filled with such intense pity for the woman that she refused to tell us anything until she's sure that the woman survived. 
Anyway, before we could come out from the theatre, she had already left. Just like that? Why would she do that? She must be an angel. Mm. You know, Rose has always had this strong faith in God. So when it mattered most, he did send one to save her. Doctor, please, if you ever see her again, please tell her that I would like to see her. No, we would like to see her. People like her are rare. We would like to see her in person. She needs more blood. The doctor doesn't think so. Even if she does, it will be very dangerous for you to donate more blood, at least for the next one month. I'm willing to dry up every single drop of blood I have in my body for her. I'm willing to give up my life for her to live. Why are you so attached to a stranger, sister? What's your name, please? My name doesn't matter, nurse. Can I have some minutes with her alone, please? son and I was an accident. I could never have killed him intentionally. Only God knows how it happened. And I'm really sorry for your pains. I am. Please forgive me. I really do hope you get better soon. I have a note here for you. Please get better. God bless you. lady that donated blood to the patient. She has gone, sir. She has gone? You kept coming to see me in my office as I requested. Oh, she told me I wanted to see her, but that she couldn't make it coming to your office again. Without saying who she is? Yes, sir. Doctor, did you tell her what I asked you to tell her? Yes, sir. And she still left without letting you know who she is. What kind of a lady is this? 
Well, she said she didn't do what she did to be praised, but for a personal reason and for God. She dropped this note. Please, if there had been an option in his case as in yours, I would have given my life to save him. I swear, I would. Nurse, she left this note? Yes, sir. It doesn't make sense. I can't make any of this. Dad, she didn't even sign her name. Doctor. I must meet this lady. And I mean at all costs. I will tell her when she comes again. Good. How is my uh, sister in law? Yes. It's getting better. Yes. It's too early to start replacing. Rose. Huh? Get well. After reading the note you dropped, they were almost pleading to meet you. Why don't you want to meet them? Doctor, because the woman is still unconscious. And I think it's too early to begin to thank those involved in saving her life. Okay. And what of your name? My name. My name doesn't matter now. What matters is the woman. So please tell me, what's the latest on her? Well, she's been very fine. But it's too early to start rejoicing. I know. I understand. Doctor, please, promise me. Promise me you'll go an extra mile, if necessary, to save her life. It's my job, my duty. Just promise me. Hmm. I promise. Thank you. I should leave you now. first, as a family at least, before you come and see the doctor? Danny, please, let's see her first, please. All right, okay. Let's go. See what I'm saying? What? Another note? Again? Guilt is a very bad feeling, especially when no one understands you. Save me from this ugly feeling by surviving this, please. I pray for you all the time. Who is this lady, for God's sake? I don't know. S sounds like s some sort of an angel. Angel talking about guilt? Well, she has to be a human being. Well, a human definitely, but some human with the heart of an angel. Well, whoever she is, May God bless her abundantly.
I came to pray with you before I break my fast. I've been fasting for six days now. And nothing will make me happier than to break it with you. Let me pray with you before I break it. In Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for the opportunity of saving a life. Even though, unfortunately, one got lost by my mistake. Lord, please, I beg you to put a smile on my face by helping her regain consciousness. Help her forget the pain that made her pass through. I've been praying for you. So how do you feel now? I have never felt this relieved in the last 10 years, Father. <laughs> you sounded like God himself has spoken to you. In more than just words, Father. In more than just words. It's... <sighs> Truly, he answers prayer. Yes, he does. I don't want to ask you how. But all I want to say is, may his name be praised forever for raising your spirit once again. Forever and ever. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, brother. Mama Monso, I'm here. And I'm still begging for your forgiveness. I never intended to kill your son. I want to tell you my own side of the story. My son intended to have sex with me, not out of love, but out of lust. He was determined to do anything, even if killing me in the process. He was already strangling my neck. Unfortunately, what I did took his life. And I'm sorry. From my heart, I'm sorry. I know that. I know that the blood I donated to you can never be a replacement for your son. But I want you to do me just one favor. Just one thing. One thing that will comfort my heart is for you to forgive me. I never intended to cause you any pain, cause you any sorrow. And if you ever come out of this coma, please, Please, please forgive me. Nice. Um, I was meaning to ask. Please, nurse. When she comes out of the coma, can you please call me? I can give you my number. That's if you promise not to give it to anyone, even the doctor. I promise. Promise. Yeah. Thank you. My heart never stopped bleeding for him and for you. I wish it never happened. But sadly, it did. Doctor. This is the eighth note the mystery lady has dropped within the past 10 days. And it is very worrying, Doctor, because we can't make head and tail of it. Nobody understands what she's trying to communicate. Well, and this condition is not a headache right now. These notes are because it's indulged the mind and the soul of the entire family. Doctor, please, to meet this lady. Honestly, if there's something I can do to make you meet this lady, I will do so right now. Maybe you better wait here so that you meet her since she comes here from time to time. Doctor, you don't understand. My auntie's condition has devastated my parents. The house, the office cannot function without me being there. So waiting around here, it's a luxury I cannot afford to indulge in, looking at my circumstances.
No, sir. Good day. <gasps> when did she? Oh, no, thank God, thank God. Have you called her people? Oh, Jesus, thank you so very much. Thank you, no, sir. I'm coming there right now. Just give me five minutes. Yes, let me just quickly change my dress. I'm coming there right now. Thank you, no, thank, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Dana Rock of Ages. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Nurse, did she relapse? She was in pain and uncomfortable when she came out of coma. The doctor gave her an injection to see. She's all right now. Thank you, Lord. Um, please, can I have a moment with her? It's okay, but make it snappy. Thank you. At last, it's over. Your pain might touch her. Thank you for recovering to relieve me once and for all. I'm grateful. I know that... I know I've caused you so much pain and, and sorrow, loneliness and tears. I've cried myself. But... What I have in this file is everything I'm worth. And everything I have, I've given it to you. I'm giving it to you because I'm really sorry. And I still want you to forgive me. <laughs> and let I near and look inside this file. I'll explain everything better. I'm really not a witch. And all I touch don't die. Please. Please. Even in my absence. Comfort the soul. And forgive me. Thank you. And goodbye. Mom, we drove her to her death. No. She's gonna harm herself!
you, Doctor. Thank you so much. Sister. She's awake. Doctor, thank you. Father, Father, this is Henry. Wow, Henry! Oh, wonderful remembering us again. How? Father, there is trouble. Amara, she's going to kill herself. She's going to kill herself. How, Henry? How do you mean? Father, I saw her suicide note. Where and how did you see the suicide note? In the hospital in Shagamu, just a while ago. Father. I'm trying to call her, but there is no way I can reach her because her line is not going through. Is there a number you know I can call her on? I'm trying to locate her, but she must not die. She doesn't deserve to die. You know what? Just calm down. Let me call her number. I'll call you back. Yes, I'll call you back. Just calm down. Okay, please. I'm waiting. Please call me. Thank you. Hello, Dad. Have you found her? Not yet. I'm still trying to locate her. Henry, find that girl. Don't let anything happen to her. Dad, I will never, I will never let her die. I love her too much to watch her die. Dad? Henry, it's not your dad, it's me. Oh, Mom. No. Yes, it's me. Please find that girl. Rose woke up as you were leaving, and she confessed that she was consumed by hate and grief. That made her say all the things she said about Amarachi. Oh, my God. That girl is your wife. Please find her. Save her, please. Yes, Mom, I will. I will find her. I can promise you that I'll find her. Bye. Where are you? trying your number and it was busy okay you know what now go straight to number five at the street. street ashagamoda yes yes she has been seen there for past two weeks and i believe oh by god's grace she's still going to be there she's still going to be there just go there yes 
please make sure she doesn't harm herself. Yes, ma'am. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Move this car, move this car. Henry. Stop. Yes, sir. Yes, son. Hello, Dad. Dad, I, I found her. Yeah, I got the address from the father. It's here in Chagamu. Number five, Adirabi Street. I'm on my way straight away. Go to the address. I hope you find her there. Your mommy and I are on our way. I'll see you then. Bye. Darling, has he found her? The Reverend Father has just given him an address of where she might be. I'm not going to forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> 